Yo, yo, folks, this is Jason Carr, the developer of LaunchBox again. I uh, wanted to come at you with a quick demo of LaunchBox and just some of the basic features and just to show everybody what it is and uh, get them hopefully hooked. So here's the LaunchBox icon down here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And I have a pre-configured uh, LaunchBox here with a ton of games. Looks like 268 total. Uh, but this is the basic LaunchBox interface. Um, you're looking at ultimately just a big list of box art uh, it was was the goal behind LaunchBox to begin with. Originally it was built uh, to be a DOS box front end and it still very much is but it also supports uh, all kinds of emulators um, as well as Windows games. Um, let's look at some of the options we have up here. Uh, under the game menu uh, I have uh, looks like uh, Batman, uh, either Arkham Asylum or Arkham City selected. So I have multiple editions that I can play uh, on, on my Steam. Um, I can open the game folder, the images, etc., etc., edit the game. Um, we also have options to go full screen, hide some of the GUI, uh, GUI features, uh, and some other simple options here. Uh, tools menu, we have the ability to easily import uh, your entire defend reloaded reloaded uh, uh, setup if you if you're using defend reloaded for your DOSBox games you can move everything over nice and easy you can import all your steam games nice and easy and you can import uh, ROM files now as well in other words if you have a bunch of Nintendo games in a folder you can just import the entire folder and launchbox will go in and automatically download beautiful art and everything uh, for all your games from the gamesdb.net. So that's really neat. And this is ultimately what you get. You get a beautiful, uh, easy to navigate uh, list of your games here. Uh, we have the ability to arrange all your games by a whole bunch of different stuff. So I generally keep mine arranged by platform. So what that means is I can go in and see I've got one Sega Genesis game uh, PlayStation, Nintendo, etc., 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 and all these Windows games. Uh, so that's nice and easy. Uh, furthermore, we can we can filter, uh, and filtering is really beneficial because you can you can say, okay, I, I only want to see games by, let's see, developer Blizzard. So I have four games from Blizzard in my collection here. Uh, we'll clear our filters. Um, when we go in and edit a game, let's go in and edit, say, King's Quest VI. That's one of my favorite games of all time. Edit that game. Here we have a ton of options. All your art is, is easy to, to work with. Um, this is a DOSBox game, so naturally everything is tailored to DOSBox, but you have a bunch of properties. Uh, you can have any number of additional applications custom dosbox.conf files for dosbox configuration uh, mounts emulation um, so that's a typical dos dosbox game let's take a look at uh, maybe an emulation uh, game here for a Nintendo 64 let's take a look at Mario Kart 64 edit that guy and you've got just your ROM file there instead and on the emulation tab we've assigned it to an emulator called project 64 which has just been um, fed in with the path of the emulator there to make it easy. And of course you can launch all these games just by double clicking uh, on the game and, and it will start up perfectly fine for you. Um, uh, maybe another cool feature, uh, we have uh, music tracks for, theme tracks for all the different games. And if you turn on autoplay music, then as soon as you highlight a game, you get that game's music, assume, assuming you specified them. So that's really nice. Um, of course, we have full screen mode here. We'll turn off the button bar, and you have you have something that resembles a really nice looking home theater uh, approach. Um, it does work with arrow keys um, and simple keyboard uh, navigation, or you can use the 360 controller. Um, so there's some good ways to navigate it as well in a home theater environment. Uh, so that's a quick intro to LaunchBox. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any requested features. 
I do plan on doing quite a few more videos uh, as far as tutorial videos uh, to show you how to do some of the more complicated things like uh, custom adding uh, DOSBox games, uh, doing the Steam import, uh, doing the, uh, the ROM imports, all that type of stuff uh, that isn't necessarily stupid easy. Uh, I do want to do some tutorial videos for So if you're interested in that, uh, feel free to um, subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll be coming out with the stuff soon. Thanks. Take it easy, guys. Bye.